Now to our big story tonight, the coronavirus and word of a second case of the virus in Arizona. This after another person tested presumptive positive. Across the country right now, lawmakers are starting to express real concern about the federal government's response to the virus. The death toll now at nine after test results confirm that one of the victims in Washington state who died last week did have coronavirus. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve has announced the biggest interest rate cut in a decade to try and fend off damage to the economy from the virus. And on Capitol Hill, lawmakers are expressing doubts about the government's ability to ramp up testing fast enough. Team 12's Bram Resnick is live now with a look at how Arizona is responding to the virus. Yeah, both coronavirus cases in Arizona are right here in Maricopa County. This new case is giving us a clear picture of what it takes to control the spread and whether the state has enough test kits to do it. The test results came back Monday. We immediately put him in home isolation. Maricopa County Medical Director Dr. Rebecca Sunshine said the tip came from another state. A man here in his 20s was in contact with someone there diagnosed with the COVID-19 coronavirus. We called them to tell him what the symptoms are to watch for and discovered that he had already developed respiratory symptoms. The next step, find out who is exposed to the Maricopa County man. How close were you to the person? How much time did you spend face to face with that person? Those contacts might also have to go into isolation for up to 14 days. Almost all of the time, these individuals understand the seriousness of the situation. As the virus spreads, the state's ability to test for it could be stretched. And we do not anticipate any short shortages in test kits for our state public health lab to test for this disease. But the number of coronavirus test kits the state has in hand might overstate the number of patients who can be tested. According to state health officials, the Arizona State Lab has 300 coronavirus test kits. But that doesn't mean 300 people can be tested. It's more accurate to say 300 specimens can be tested. So one individual may have multiple specimens depending on what they're collecting. One specimen could be a swab of a single patient's throat or nose or sputum. All three of those specimens from just one patient would require three test kits. And keep in mind that patients might face two or more rounds of tests, so those 300 test kits can go pretty fast. Now, those tests done by the state are free, but once businesses start offering them, which could be within weeks, patients might have to pay for them. Back over to you. Okay, Bram, thanks.